indicates the threat came from a group called Freedom Front, and they warned of multiple explosions. Are they for real? Well, the Domestic Terrorism Task Force confirms this group is for real. Look for anybody watching what we do. Robinson, Dorado, Traffic Control. Rooney Reardon with me. Okay, alert bomb squad. That's Channel 2. To any unattended packages, do not touch them. If this is some Patriots idea of civil war, they'd love to pop a fed. Questions? No. Questions? No, sir. Let's go. Move it. Can you keep it moving? The terminal's closed. Come on, boy. We sweep this place maybe half a dozen times a month. Get to know it like the back of your hand. That's great. Come on, let's, let's keep moving. Come here. Come here. Right there. Okay, one minute. You got anything? Nothing. Stoddard's still finishing a sweep of cargo. Stay there. Airport security for immediate evacuation through arrivals on the lower level. Out of this area. Wait a minute. Ow! Separate. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. This way, this way. Cross the street. Cross the street. I need a bomb tech on the lower level right away. Stay there. Stay there. I can't hear you. Be there in two. Look, we got a possible situation in the parking structure. Okay, Robinson, Sutter, take care of that. Stay. Bomb. Give me the boat cutters. FBI! I don't got any more! I don't, I don't have anything more! Please! Look at the medics. Please don't shoot me. saw his mouth move. Did he have a mustache? I don't know. I, uh, I, I I can't remember. Okay. That's okay. Let's go back. You saw guys running security checks. I saw the badge. That's it. The badge says FBI. You do what they say. The next minute, there's this gun. I'm on the floor of the truck. I think I'm dead. And... All these brains are all over me. <laughs> okay. The truck was carrying $12 million. Still linked armor does run once a month to California Merchants Bank. Now the money is supposed to be transferred by air for deposit with the Federal Reserve in San Francisco. The bank's bank. Use money, no marked bills, can't be traced. Ballistics? The guard took a 22 in the head, small caliber, so it wouldn't be heard. Gunman didn't leave a card. So, bomb threat. A couple of small pipe bombs and trash cans. They knew exactly how we'd respond. We're all looking 180 degrees the other direction. Well, 11 mil's a huge amount of money. How'd they get that much cash out of the airport? 
Bart said they were pulled over by two men. They parked next to a white van in a parking structure, didn't see the driver. When they asked him to open the back to search it, his partner protested, and they shot him in the head. Bled to death in his arms. Any descriptions? He thinks they were white. Male, medium height, medium build, sport jacket, standard issue Ray-Bans. It's the best I could get. He said that whoever robbed the truck and killed his partner was FBI. Security cameras? Yep. Get every tape from every camera terminal, too. Freeze frame shots of agents. Find the fakes. John? Okay, Rid, looks like on duty rotations back to us this week. You're the lucky one on top. Uh, probationary agent Robinson. Yeah. Um, you have company. Who is it? Your mother. I never thought I'd set foot inside this place, not voluntarily. You look up my file yet? Mama told you a thousand times. Did you have a file here at the FBI? You... Well, I'd be ashamed if I didn't. Keeping your eye on people is what you do here, isn't it? Uh, but your office is where? Well, here's my desk here. It's more about practicality than style. See, we're in and out all the time. I can't believe this. The biggest heist in L.A. history. And I'm on nut patrol. It's a... Sorry. Okay, Amanda Rin is my mother, Professor Robinson. Oh, so nice to meet you. Hi, glad to meet you. Um, I'm sorry to complain. I'm sure Mal has told you we're low men on the totem pole. Excuse me. <sighs> Malcolm, I've come about Robert. No, don't look like that. He got through the program. I'm sure he's doing just fine. How long has it been this time? A week. A week? Look, oh. I don't want to hear it. What he's done in the past is past. Your brother has disappeared. You have the resources. I want you to find him. I wouldn't ask you to do this if I weren't absolutely desperate. Okay. I'll find him. I want my children home for dinner tomorrow. All of them. It's been too long since we sat around the table together. Oh, that's uh, Lou, what's his name, from downstairs. Oh, Chris Benson. Oh, he really made me melt in 89. Look, <laughs> special, special Agent Barto. It's first time out from behind the desk since Chad, goodbye. All right, here we go. Arm it down, alive and kicking. Agent waves it down. You know him? Nope. Him I would remember. Hold up. Didn't Torres say something about a white pickup van pulling up next to him? Yeah, you're right. Go back. Hey, these two, they're not agents. That's a story. Anything else? Yeah. About a white van and a fuzzy plate. Let's blow that up, see what we get. Let me know. Two, two Pico, that's it. No sign of the van. Well, that's by far our best on the list. They just want to check this church group van. It's an older model, though. Computer store? No, it's a deli. <laughs> That's good. You guys been here long? Can I help you? 
Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm having some trouble with my PC, my laptop. Everything works okay, but then resource map not installed. Got to see it to help you out. Oh, The Art of War. Read that in college. How about that? Yeah, my roommate, Mal Robinson. I'm sure it was fascinating. Josh, help this guy. War's kind of like retail, huh? Making money, making deals, cunning, guts, strategy. You guys, uh, what about modems? You guys know anything about modems? Oh, is this for cruising the web, or uh, is it just for email? Well, what I'm looking for is the uh, best price. Well, I'll match whatever you can get it for elsewhere, and we'll install it for free. How's that? Okay. Ringo, give me your pen. I'm Joshua Reese. Why don't you uh, shop around, and then call me. Okay, I guess I'll be seeing you. Ringo. Robinson, where are you? Stop. I got a shot of a guy who came out. Looks like a match on the airport shots. What are you doing? Trash check. We're not clear for a trash cover. Sidewalk. No expectation of privacy. No expectation. Even so, a little COA ain't gonna hurt here. CYA. Plural of CYA. Your A and my A make two A's. It's Todd for John. We got something here. A match on the photo. Can you get Grassi's permission for a trash cover? Okay, fine. No problem. But I don't want you going near them until we know what we're dealing with. Stay loose. Sure, we'll, we'll stay loose. Cover. We ran the license plates in the store's parking lot through DMV for a photo match of our favorite airport agents. First guy's name is Wayne Ringo Latimer. He's got a healthy rap sheet. Uh, priors for assault with a deadly grand theft. He put down an armed robbery, on and on. So you figure him for the shooter? I figure this guy for the next world war. He's wound so tight. He and Dean call? Del Nunzio mm -hmm. put in time at Chino. Del Nunzio's got outstanding moving bios, including a warrant on a failure to appear. Guess who upgraded Steel Link's computer system eight months back? These guys? Had to be how they found out about the cash runs to the airport. Steel Link would have done a background check. Whose name's on the work order? Uh-uh, no names. Computer Hound, Inc. Computer Hound's owner's name is Joshua Reese. I say we bring him in. Well, the bedrock crime is robbery. The and we results. can't get them on felony murder until we get them on that. So we can't do anything at this point except place them at the airport. Yeah, but they don't know that. Show them the pictures. Tell them the guards made a positive ID. Scott, your lead on this. What do you want to do? I say we wait. I don't think we're looking at the full crew here. Do we need the full crew to start applying pressure? They've got $11 million to divvy up, make travel plans, and split. Okay, so we show them our hand and they still don't budge. Then what? I say they do budge. I can't bet on that. I don't want to get these jerks too bad not to play it smart. How about electronic surveillance? Here. From the trash at the store, it's tagged. Matches the wire fragments from the bomb at LAX. Came from the same school. Andrew? It's enough for a judge to approve a surveillance warrant. Okay, do the paper on the warrant, 24-hour surveillance. And let's keep an eye on their homes. Pull in any extra agents you may need, all right? Mal. Mal, uh, Detective Pauling, narcotics call. Uh, he wants you to call him. He left his paper number. Okay, thanks. Oh, Fred. Can you keep me apprised on this? Are you sensing a problem? An $11 million heist and a murder is playing quite well on TV, which means Washington's radar is on high sensitivity. Mm-hmm. Okay, no problem. Uh, here, please. It took me a very long time to pick up the courage, or, or the nerve, or whatever you want to call it, to come here. Secrets are not meant to stay kept. Bad deeds must not go unpunished. 
Is this something you overheard, or do you have evidence to a crime? Both. I was there, and I heard it. Crime itself was never solved by the clever police of the old-fashioned variety. I'm sorry, Miss Wilson. Um, why exactly are you here? I've come to confess that I'm ready to pay whatever price to set things right. This isn't something you could just talk about with your priest, is it? We've talked. Once upon a time, this pretty face was me. The papers called us the Swindle Sisters. The Diamond Heist in 1945. That's you? Now, do you have to set up a tape recorder or, or take notes? How, how does this work, exactly? No, it's a personal matter. Yeah, Robinson, early 30s, about what, 6'4"? Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, no, I faxed over the info this afternoon. Sergeant, can I call you back? Yeah, thanks. Scott, Scott, go. The security's just pulling in. Tom, shut down. Car on front. Houston, we got a problem? Okay, no, you're clear. You're clear. All clear, Tom. Fire it up. Intelligence Division had this locked up for three years. Criminal finally got permission to use it. Nobody's gonna find this puppy. We almost done? Two shakes on this, and then give me five for the cameras. Let's go. Hey, Scott. You plan on checking to see if 11 million bucks in cash just happens to be sitting around there? Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Daughter. Well, if you could just fax that, that'd, that'd be great. Uh, squad 16, C Division. Thanks, pal. Mobile, Alabama field office with information on Joshua Reese. Joshua Reese is dead. He's dead? Drowned in a neighbor's swimming pool in 1971. He was three years old. We just found our third man. We don't hang no more. You know that. Look, B, I'm not here making accusations, man. I know you're not selling anymore, but it's serious now. It's been a week. Yeah, but just by asking me to call around, you're asking me to get in touch with people that I need to leave behind. I'm aware of that. I appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. When he goes, I know he goes downtown, does a downtown thing, you know? He's got some dudes on the road to keep him hooked up. I have 10, 12 messages on the machine. Some by there last night, and everybody haven't seen him in days. You know as well as I do, most of these guys trying to kick or think they're kicking and end up ducking after one last blast. Big party drop, come on. Which means he's in some hellhole flop house somewhere, huh? You got it. I gotta go. Keep an ear open for me? Here's Joshua Reese, age three. Now meet Timothy Mann. And had he not been kind enough to give us his thumbprint on a business card, we might never have known his list of accomplishments. Check kiting, wire fraud, embezzlement, illegal access to a database. 
He's quite a computer hacker. Done any time? Not a day. Can we flip him? With what? We got no leverage. Boss ID? Only if he uses it to commit federal fraud. We got no evidence of that. So we're at a dead end unless I'm missing some bright idea. That's a pretty shaky alliance. One bright guy, two not so bright psychotics. You want to harass him? Absolutely. Well, there's an argument that says we sit still, let them incriminate themselves. What, they're going to say murder, bomb, and money in the same sentence? These guys pulled this off right under our noses. They're not going to blow it without us lighting a fire under them. You know, they have conversations like this at Waco. Runes, I'm not talking about attacking the store. I'm saying we should just make their occupancy a little bit less comfortable. Feed their paranoia. Paranoia? I can do that. How's that? Computer hop. Josh, are, are we close to heaven or what? Who is this? Sorry, is Josh there? Who is this? God. My sister Carol was a gal Friday at Mutual Life. She passed away last year. I was uh, the bookkeeper for a small stationer on 44th Street. We'd meet on the library steps for lunch near the lions. We'd wander, window shop, started dropping by the diamond exchange until we knew everything there was to know. So they knew you? Oh, well, we made up names, of course. Tuesdays were always quiet. One day we took lunch early, made the rounds, hellos to people who knew us. When one or the other of us would turn up the charm, the other would slip her hand into a drawer or under the counter, we knew where to look. A purse load of diamonds, a 10 minute flat. And no one saw you? Someone started yelling, so I pulled a derringer, fired a couple of rounds into the air, grabbed Mrs. Grossberg, and disappeared into the subway. It doesn't say anything in here about a hostage. Well, it was in the police report. They always keep something out. So how did... The entire city was looking for you. All in the planning. One stop on the train to 34th Street. My car and Carol's is parked outside of Macy's. We wanted the police to think we had a hostage, but we didn't. See, we, uh, we locked Mrs. Grossberg in the trunk of Carol's car, got her to my car. An hour later, we're in Jersey, headed west. Did you think she'd get out, or did you just leave her there to die? I thought about that. Someone had to have gotten her out. What about the warning shots? I see what you're thinking. We couldn't know whether someone might not have got shot. So then you were willing to let someone die? Yes. And I've had to live with that. Scott, you put in a favor on an outstanding warrant? Jerk, steal my car. I'm calling the cops. Nobody's man. calling the cops. Get the hell inside. Sorry, man. Chill out. What the hell's the matter with you, man? Get off. What was that all about? I don't know. Some unpaid ticket. He was yelling about calling the cops. Unpaid tickets. You're probably who ordered the pizzas. You're stupid enough. I don't like pepperoni. At least I didn't shoot the. Okay, okay, all right, cool it. Another 24 hours, that's all. We stick to the plan. I brought you in on this, okay? Because you're out of your league. I brought you in and I can cut you out. I blew out that guard. Do you think I wouldn't do you? No. I think unchecked, you'd continue to make enough mistakes to screw us all. Mistakes? The only mistake I made was listening to you and not finishing the job. We've had this discussion, Ringo. It no longer interests me. It's true. The alliance has crumbled. You really into this, huh? Hand me that tape. We'll have run this one You know, I blew off that guard. You think I wouldn't do you? No, I think unchecked, you will continue to make enough mistakes to screw us all. Mistakes? The only mistake I've made is listening to you and not finishing the job. Not enough. Even a mediocre defense attorney would claim that blowing off the guard means he changed an appointment. It's not just the tape. The tagged wire, the van registered to Reese, a.k.a. man. No money, no murder weapon. 
probable cause, Scott, but a long way from reasonable doubt. So we keep hammering away. No, this thing could backfire on us, Scott, and you know it. Just pull the weakest one. Pull Dean in. He'll turn. He's a career criminal. He'll have lawyers crawling out of every orifice. I said we target Joshua and Titan of Vice. You heard him. The murder was a mistake. It divided the alliance. He's never looked at murder before, Annie. These guys get under your skin or something because you're playing with them like they're lab rats. They posed as agents. They orphaned a guy's family. Yeah, they're under my skin. And they're giving us every opportunity to wedge them apart. I can see this one clear as day, John. Give me a next step. All right, standard stuff. Uh, by now, Jack's probably got the air conditioning down, right? So we lob a couple suggestions at the heavies that, that Reese is getting ready to cut them out. I bet they don't even know his real name is Timothy Mann. Okay, one more day's rope on this. But Scott, Annie's gonna check you on this. Do not lose control. No, no, he has not been involved in an accident. It's not as far as I know of anyway. Well, what's more likely is he... Yeah, no, look, Robinson. Yeah. Oh, well, look, if he shows up, I'd be real grateful, okay? Detective O'Brien. Hi, Special Agent Amanda Reardon, Los Angeles FBI. Fine, thank you. How are you? Here you go. Um, I wanted to ask you a couple questions about an old case. Uh, it, it, it's pretty old. Well, um, about 47 years, if you can think back that far. Yeah, uh, way bill number... 146-439-42. I am checking on a arrival time. You're up, Rose. It's better not scatter them all. Have a little trust in me here. But I wonder if you could narrow it down, you know, like to the nearest century. And well, thank you very much for your help. What's that? Why don't you tell us, Timothy? Who is this? It's me. What do you mean it's you? Look, it, it, it doesn't matter. It, it's just a name. I, I have a lot of names. It doesn't matter. What's your next name going to be? Right? No, no, it, it doesn't matter. What matters is who sent it. This guy's no dummy. You don't know? What, are you trying to be smart? I don't have to try. Look, someone sent that fax for a reason. The question is who? Peter Hound. Yeah, hi, this is Ann Capelli from Hagelin Management. I'm looking for Joshua Reese. Who is it? I said Hagelin Management. We own the building that Joshua Reese lives in. Yes, this is he. What is it? It's come to our attention that you changed the locks on your apartment and we need to gain access. Why? First pipe flood. The plumbing contractor needs to get in right now, otherwise he's going to have to break in, in which case the liability is yours. Look, I'm just calling to let you know, hon. Okay, look, uh, I'll be over right away. Right? Just do not go into my place, all right? Do not. There's a problem at my place. The pipes burst. Big deal. You ain't going anywhere. Twenty thousand dollars worth of computer equipment. I am going. And I suggest you figure out who sent that back and who sent the seventeen pizzas. Keep your mouths shut. I think he's up to something. What are you doing? Computer hound. Hello, Josh. Hey, it's Scott. Are we all systems go or what? Who is this? Oh, is Josh there? Who is this? Just a little something to sleep on. No, don't. Star 6-9. Hello? Yeah, hi. Is uh, Scott there? Uh, Scott? No. You, you had the wrong number. Oh, no, don't worry. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. Cutting us out, he's working with someone else. But the deal is the, the deal is off. I'm gonna kill that little punk. Now we bring him in. There's a New York detective that's still alive, confirms every detail in her statement, including what the papers left out. Now the fact that this woman got away has bugged him for years. 2122. This woman is 77 years old. And she had a wonderful life here in sunny California. The diamonds got her clothes. The clothes got her to the parties where she met the nice husband with his own business. And in her will, she'll be leaving money to charity. In the meantime, she develops a conscience and decides she doesn't want to die without her children knowing who she really was. OK, Amanda, question. Are there any witnesses besides the dead ones? And does NYPD still have a warrant out for this woman? She's a fugitive. Interstate flight to avoid prosecution. Statute of limitations does not apply. Sir, there's no question she did the crime. 
You took her prints? We'll need a match for positive identification and arrest. She left a handprint on the jewelry display case. And New York has still got that 50-year-old print. I'm sure that, um, well, wouldn't they? Well, let me find out. I'll call the U.S. Attorney's Office. Why? She confessed. She brought in a scrapbook of evidence. If, sir, I'm sorry, but I don't understand the problem. Well, there may be no problem at all. Well, okay, then. Hey, Tim. If you're single, or even if you're not, you'll... He's cutting us out. He's working with someone else. But the deal was the... The deal is off. I'm gonna kill that little punk. That's good. You like that? Would you uh, hide the camera in the ceiling somewhere? Smoke alarm, am I right? I don't think you should go back to find out, do you? My good old Ringo. Just his way with words. No, just his way with people. The guard in the armored truck, Paul Stratman. Father of Joe and Stacy Stratman, husband of Jane. He didn't have to die, did he, Josh? That wasn't part of the plan, was it? To in on this. Okay. Because you're out of your league. I brought you in and I can cut you out. No, I think unchecked, you will continue to make enough mistakes to screw us all. Mistakes? The only mistake I've made is listening to you and not finishing the job. Got your record here, Josh. Plenty of crime, no violence, nobody even got their hair ruffled. But your friend Ringo, he's got you on the hook for murder. And that's the death penalty, Josh. Am I under arrest? No. We're just worried about you. Just tell us where the money is and we'll plead you down to armed robbery. So if I'm not under arrest, I can go. Oh, by the way, thanks for the pizza. Pepperoni pineapple. My favorite. How did you know? He's gonna kill you, Josh. Well, you'll be watching my back, won't you? Why should we? It's your civic duty. We have to arrest him. He walks out of here, he's a dead man. If arresting him is gonna save his life, then we should. Fine, but we don't have enough to convict, and the case gets kicked. You want him killed, Scott? No, but he is right. We do have his back. What if we lose his back? What if Ringo gets to him first? You know, you're playing games with this guy's life. I didn't ask him to steal 11 million bucks no, and work with psychotics. That is not the point. We set this thing in motion. We have a responsibility to we make sure he doesn't get out of We have a responsibility to catch the people who killed Paul Streppen. And you don't care what happens to Reese? Annie, we offered him a deal. 99 out of 100 people would take the deal. He chose not to. You better stick close. I don't want a death out of this. Ms. Wilson, this is Supervisory Special Agent Olansky. How'd you do? Agent Reardon has brought me up to date on your case, Miss Wilson. Never too late to tell the truth, isn't it? Whatever the consequences. Absolutely. However, the United States government has decided not to prosecute. I, I, I don't understand. I, I'm the woman in the book. I, I did what it said. Worse, I got away with it. And you came to confess, Miss Wilson, you did the right thing. That's it? Yes, ma'am. That's it. So, thanks for coming in. If you'd like to uh, show this book to your kids, that's up to you. But the Bureau is just not in the business of granting forgiveness. The naysayers are right. The country has lost its moral compass. <clears throat> okay. Nice work, Agent Reardon. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I think. Any sign of the others? Pretty quiet so far, other than Joshua. We got tech support? We should be pretty close. Tam Stott, tell John I may need to shoot clearance out here. Yeah.
Where have you been, Josh? How's a busted pipe coming? We got him. Get John, we need it. The FBI, it's all the FBI. Just walk away. You really don't think much of us, do you, Josh? Who are you working with? He's on to me. Where's our money? I'm telling you, Ringo, walk away. Where's the money? Shut up. FBI, I never no shot. Be no shot. John, anything we take him out or we watch him kill Josh? I need a green light, Andrew. God, how did we get to this? Sir, we need shoe clearance now. Okay. You've got another option, you take it. You are going to shoot. You rerouted it, didn't you? You called them. Where'd you send it? Where'd you send it? Jack, they sent the money from the airport. They sent it to themselves. They've been waiting for the delivery. They never left LAX. We got them. We got them. They gave it up. Come on! What are you waiting for? Stop. Don't let him go. You're dead. FBI, drop your weapon! Freeze! Hands in the air! I said hands in the air! Down on your knees! Oh. On your legs! On your knees! Now! Don't shoot. Just don't shoot. Oh. Ah. Ah. Sir, one suspect is down. Everything's under control. You'll let me know about the rest of this? EPD couriers, seven large packages were left at their airport office the morning of the robbery for two-day delivery to computer town. Eleven million bucks. No one there to sign for it. Well done, Scott. Tell everybody well done. Right. What? Checked all the hospitals, local arrests. I don't even know he's kicking with anymore. I know what you're thinking, Mal. Any reason I should be thinking otherwise? All I know is I had lunch with him a couple of weeks ago and he looked fine. And I know when he's not fine. Did you give him money? You gave him money, didn't you? He had a job interview, Mal. Uh -huh. He wanted to buy himself a new shirt. So, Mal, how are things at your office today? I'll bet you can't talk about it, right? You get promoted, Chet? I will, I will. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> hey, Mama. Mm, I knew I smelled you cooking. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you all right? Last well, sweet, Mama. Speaking of sweet, is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> Did I come on and give Big Brother some shit? Hi, Bob. How you doing? Good, good. What's up, little bro? What you got for me? You tell me, man. Hey, I'm just getting back on track, that's all. <laughs> Robert, I made you tamales. I uh, see, I see. <laughs> so. Did you get that job that you uh, told uh, Angela about? Well, the interview was cool. I met the guy that runs the um, economic zone for all of South Central. You know, I have a good feeling. I think you're going to get a call. Yeah, I hope you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I'm getting with some of the LAPD. I'm going to play some ball with some of the kids from that area. We're going to start a league in the spring. You, uh, you might want to join us on that rock. It'd be cool, but what I really want to do is get some food. Well, then have some guacamole, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Honey, take some of that rice. <laughs> get some of that rice. Looks good. You know what? I gotta go. Mel, but you haven't eaten yet. Yo, yo, 
Joe, hold up. You know what? I'm tired of family feeling sick to our stomach every time you disappear. Every time you're late for dinner, every time the damn phone rings. Yeah. You just ease up, Mal. Look, man, I see you trying to look in my eyes and see if I'm high. I'm good. So just stop tripping on me, little boy. Too many times, man. So you know what? You go ahead. You go do what you got to do, all right? But don't call me when you're high, when you're straight, whatever. Just leave me alone, all right? Leave me alone.